Hi and welcome to Mac Tech Tutorials. Today we are going to be learning about editing your photos in iPhoto. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select iPhoto, this icon, from the dock. And you're going to open it up. And then you're going to select the photo that you want. You can skim through all your photos by moving your mouse across your photos. But for me, I already have a photo ready. Then you click on your photo. And to edit, you press this button on the bottom right hand corner of your iPhoto window. Then you get these options. To rotate, you just click it to whatever you want to rotate it to. And then to enhance, you just click it, and then iPhoto enhances any elements in your picture that they think need enhancing. For fixing a red eye, um, you can change the. Uh, you can change the amount that you fix, and you can fix red eye. And when you're done, click done. If you want to straighten your photo, you can straighten it like this or like that. I'm gonna pretend I want my photo like that, and I'm going to click done. To crop my photo, I can move my crop box around and I can move it in from all sides like that. And when I got what I want in my photo, I click done. Then it will re then it will crop off the sides of the photo and redo it. <laughs> And if I want to retouch my photo, I have a size brush I can use to retouch it. I can make my brush size smaller. Pretend I don't want this hair right here. I can get rid of it by retouching it like this. And then her hair will be gone. Then when I'm done, I click done. In the second tab up here, you're going to find effects. The first one, you can lighten up your photo, make it a bit brighter. For the second one, you can darken your photo. The third one, you can put contrast in your photo. For the fourth one, you can make your photo warmer or more orange colored, like that. For the colder effect, you can make your photo look bluer, like that. For saturate, you can make your photo look saturated. For black and white, that's your standard black and white effect. For sepia, that's your standard sepia effect. For teak, you can make it go up or down, like that. For, for matte, you can set the level that you want it to be, like that. I like that. And for and vignette, you can make it have a little bit of a border there if you want. And for edge blur, you can blur your edges of your photo. if you want to. See how it's blurred right there? And right there? For fade, you can do the same thing. You can fade your photo to whatever degree that you want. And for boost, you can boost your photo's color. And for none, you undo all the effects that you just did. For adjust, you can adjust the, your exposure to be more bright or more dark. You can adjust your contrast. That's softer. That's more. So I'm going to adjust it to softer. You can adjust your saturation. That's no saturation. That's more. And having no saturation is no color. Well, almost no color. And having more is more deeper, richer color. Definition. You can see that the edges change a bit. Like the edges around here. 
as I do it again. And for highlights, it highlights areas in your photo, like the background, you can see the sky, then it highlighted right there. For shadows, you can see that makes more or less shadows. Sharpness, you can see that does this, almost the same thing as definition. And denoise, temperature, bluer, and orangier, I would say. And for tint, more purple and more greenish. And if you really hate all your effects, you can click this button, revert to original, and it will go back to your original picture before you made all your edits. Okay. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. And subscribe.